Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on guys? Sergeant Moose here, and today I want to talk about some interesting news going on in the Predator universe right now. And by interesting, I guess I'm saying it's probably not good news, especially if you're a Predator Hunting Grounds fan. But let's dive into it, let's talk about it a little bit, see what's going on within the Predator community and how it could affect the Predator Hunting Grounds game. So in a nutshell guys, Disney recently purchased 20th Century Fox, which of course means they purchased all the rights to their films. 20th Century Fox owns the Predator franchise, so that means that Disney now owns the Predator franchise. So guys, if you love the Predator franchise, you probably love these guys too. Jim and John Thomas, who are of course known as the original screenplay writers for the Predator film, um, originally entitled Hunter. And just a little backstory on these guys, they were going through some of the Rocky films, uh, I believe it was Rocky 4 or 5, they said, as jokingly, that Rocky would have to fight somebody superhuman because he can already beat everybody on Earth, <laughs> as it is right now, and that is the early stages of the conception of the Hunter uh, screenplay written by the brothers who eventually became the Predator film. Um, so these guys originally owned the rights to Predator and they want them back essentially so they are now suing Disney. Now as to why the brothers want the rights to the franchise back I really don't know. I mean they are the original creators, the original screenplay writers so it makes sense that they want to own their content but we are talking about Disney here and the acquisition of 20th Century so Another interesting thing is that Disney is in the process of making a brand new Predator film with the 10 Cloverfield Lane director. Um, it's already reportedly in the works, as well as Marvel's working on a comic series for Predator, which is also owned by Disney. So there's definitely some things up in the air there. Now, the interesting thing about this whole lawsuit, which kind of worries me the most, guys, is that Disney is countersuing the brothers because they're claiming that they are trying to terminate 20th Century's contract prematurely. Um, it says here on IGN, defendants' notices fail to comply with these statutory requirements and are invalid as a matter of law, states Disney's own jury trial seeking complaint, also filed today in federal court. 20th Century seeks a declaration pursuant to 28 U.S.C. 2201 that defendants' notices of termination are invalid. This action is necessary because defendants are improperly attempting to prematurely terminate 20th Century's rights to the Hunter screenplay at the very time that 20th Century is investing substantial time, money, and effort into developing another installment in its successful Predator franchise. Now the thing is guys, love them or hate them, and I'm talking about the newer films, 20th Century has turned Predator into a successful franchise. Um, now the thing that worries me the most is that they are in development with screenplay for the new Predator, which could make this lawsuit carry on for a long time. And I know a lot of you know of a very similar lawsuit with Friday the 13th the game. Now most of you know the issue going on with Friday the 13th the game with the lawsuit, a very similar lawsuit I may add. I'm not going to go too much into detail about it, but in the end it halted content for the game itself. It has been some time now since Friday the 13th has had any type of new content. So where does that leave us with Predator Hunting Grounds? Because there is a similar lawsuit going on between two entities that want rights to the franchise now could this halt content for the predator hunting grounds game i certainly hope not um however i did notice i think it was on the uh Ilphonic's facebook page or their twitter page someone asked them if there was new content coming and this was maybe yesterday or the day before at the latest and Ilphonic replied with yep as in meaning they are making new content for the game and this is of course after the information leaked about the lawsuit so maybe it won't affect the game i certainly hope that's the case but again we don't know we saw what happened with friday the 13th now there's a lot of people flooding ophonics uh social medias asking them wanting answers what's going to happen to the game is it going to be okay uh is content going to be halted what's going to happen um Ilphonic, of course won't reply and i totally respect and understand that because maybe they don't know themselves um, it's very early to determine exactly what may happen. They probably don't want to leak any information that they're not exactly sure of yet. I get, I totally get that, but in the end, it still hovers over our heads what exactly is going to happen to this game because of Friday the 13th, and it was very similar. So next year will be the 35th anniversary since the first Predator film, 
and apparently there is a clause that allows authors of screenplay to cancel transfers after a specific period of time, which in this case is 35 years. So, assuming that they're coming up on this date, um, they want to see if they are able to reclaim the rights to Predator, and I totally get that, however, it may foil some plans. Now, honestly, in my personal opinion, guys, if there wasn't a new film in the works, if there wasn't comics and everything like that in the works, uh, maybe this case would work out a little bit easier for Jim and John Thomas. However, I'm sure Disney sees some success in this franchise, and the future of this franchise especially, and they want to hold on to that. I get that. They purchased 20th Century. It's theirs. I get that 100%. But at the same time, I still see through the same scope that the brothers do as well um, in wanting their original content back. So the, another interesting thing, guys, uh, before I leave this off here, they are represented, Jim and John Thomas, they are represented by Mar Mark Toberoff, who is a specialist in copyright termination who represented the Friday the 13th writer in that similar case so this should be very interesting and he was successful with it by the way so <laughs> with that said ladies and gentlemen that's all i have as far as this lawsuit and everything goes um i'll keep you guys updated if we hear anything else uh, like i said hopefully it doesn't hinder any progress of the game itself let me know in the comments please guys if uh, what you think about this if you have any inf more information on it what do you think is going to happen to the game and all that good stuff but I'm going to leave you with that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please feel free to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more Predator Hunting Grounds content. My name is Sergeant Moose. Stick around and rock on.